Good day, my fellow St. Lucians. As we join the rest of the world in celebrating World Tourism Day under the theme, Rethinking Tourism, I would like to express special greetings to all citizens working within the tourism industry. I would also like to take this opportunity to extend a warm welcome to our visitors who contribute significantly to our economy by indulging in our various tourism products and experiences. Thankfully, since the height of the COVID-19 pandemic, St. Lucia's tourism industry has been showing very positive signs of recovery and it is proving to be an industry of resilience and promise. The destination has, been, has seen consistent growth in arrivals which are on track to exceed 2019 arrival figures as well as employment which is set to return to its pre-pandemic level by next year. Despite these successes, we are still threatened by external factors which are currently affecting the industry, such as economic uncertainty in key source markets, rising food prices, and high costs of inputs. Though the island has displayed considerable resilience in the demand for its tourism product, these factors, if continued unabated, threaten the short to medium term viability of the industry. The COVID-19 pandemic highlighted the critical need to transform the tourism industry and has therefore taught us many lessons in that we cannot revert to old ways of working. Recovery of the tourism industry can only be guaranteed by strategic actions and calculated interventions by both the public and private sectors. In Rethinking Tourism, the government of St. Lucia commits to undertaking the following. One, shaping tourism policies that focus on the development of people and the distribution of wealth. Secondly, fostering partnerships and improving resource allocation. And thirdly, increasing the destination's competitiveness. By achieving this, the opportunities for employment and income generation in the tourism sector will be broadened. As a government, we are cognizant that there are various barriers to entry, primarily access to financing and development of small to medium business operators and employees, which restricts the ability of locals to own and operate businesses in the industry. With this in mind, I must say that the theme for this year, Rethinking Tourism, is captivating and very instructive for the immediate future because it challenges us as policymakers, as employers and as entrepreneurs to reconsider our overall approach to tourism development. This challenge is well accepted by our government. And as some of you may already know, the Ministry of Tourism is presently engaged in a thorough review of its existing tourism legislation. It is my hope that very early in the new year, 2023, Parliament will approve the enactment of new legislation which is underpinned by a new policy framework for tourism administration, development, and creating opportunities and providing incentives. In keeping with the theme, Rethinking Tourism, the new tourism legislation, that is, the Tourism Development Bill, will make special provisions for new entrants into the industry to build sustainable and resilient businesses which can withstand economic shocks like the one experienced in 2019-2020. Further, in rethinking tourism, our government believes that there is a strong role that communities can play as agents of change in the transformation of the tourism industry. Therefore, I am pleased to announce the launch of the Community Tourism Program is near. As a government, we believe that the efforts of the new paradigm for tourism will stem from the active participation of local households and communities in the national tourism product. Our ultimate goal is to provide more opportunities for our people to invest in the development of small enterprises, achieve a higher standard of living, and to steer our country, St. Lucia, on a path of sustainable recovery and development. I would therefore like to express my thanks and appreciation to you, the people, who contribute towards this process in your own way. And I pray for guidance as we transform our sector and build a better tourism for all. I thank you.